today. It's Luella, your music teacher for today. In your previous lesson, music is composed of different elements like rhythm, melody, harmony, texture, form, tempo, dynamics, and timbre. Among these elements, rhythm is the first element which you are going to learn in music. In this lesson, you will be refreshed with what you have learned from the past on the first element of music which is the rhythm, specifically the different kinds of symbols of notes and rest and the value of each symbol. Before anything else, let us try to identify the following notes and rest shown. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1 You're right! It's a quarter rest! Wow. Number 2 Correct! It's a sixteenth note. Number three. Yes, it's an eighth note. Number four. Amazing! It's a whole rest. Number five. Superb! It's an eight dress. I know you are all familiar with the song Liron Liron Sinta. Let's sing this song all together. Remember, when singing in the classroom, Listen and blend your voice with the group. Singing with the class also requires listening to be able to blend one's voice with the voices of the others. Are you ready? Yes, you are ready. Let's sing the song. Very well! I guess you are now ready with our lesson today. Today, we are going to identify the values of the notes and rest used in a particular song. Notes and rest are musical symbols on a staff that denotes the sound and silence in music. Do you want to know more about the notes and rest and their specific values in music? Alright! These are the different notes and rests 
with specific values or number of bits. These are the musical symbols of a whole note and a whole rest. Whole note gets 4 bits of sound and whole rest gets 4 bits of silence. These are the musical symbols of a half note and half rest. The half note receives 2 bits of sound and the half rest receives 2 bits of silence. These are the musical symbols of a quarter note and quarter rest. Quarter note gets 1 bit of sound and the quarter rest gets 1 bit of silence. These are the musical symbols of an 8th note and 8th rest. 8th note gets half of a beat of a sound and 8th rest gets half of a beat of silence. These are the musical symbols of a 16th note and 16th rest. 16th note gets 1 fourth of a beat and the 16th rest gets also 1 fourth of a beat of silence. Now, let's move to the dotted notes and dotted rest. These are the musical symbols of a dotted half note and dotted half rest. Dotted half note gets 3 beats of sound and dotted half rest gets 3 beats of silence. These are the musical symbols of a dotted quarter note and dotted quarter rest. Dotted quarter note gets one and a half beat of sound, while the dotted quarter rest gets one and a half beat of silence. These are the musical symbols of a dotted eight note and a dotted eight rest. Dotted eight note receives three fourth beat of sound, and dotted eight rest receives three fourth of a beat of silence. Let's try to look at the song Liron Liron Sinta. Give the time value and identify the highlighted notes and rest in the given phrase. In the musical phrase, what musical symbol is this? Yes, it's a dotted half rest and its time value is 3 bits of silence. Next, what musical symbol is this? Correct! It's an 8 rest and it receives one half of a beat of silence. What musical symbol is this? Very good! It's a quarter note. And it receives one bit of sound. What musical symbol is this? Awesome! It's an eight note, and it gets half of a beat. One more to go. What musical symbol is this? Perfect! It's a half note and it receives two bits of sound. Write the name of the notes and rest used in the song Mahal Kong Bayan. Now let's see if you have answered correctly. The notes and rest used in the song Mahal Kung Bayan are The 8 rest 
eighth note, quarter notes, dotted quarter note, quarter rest, and half note. Congratulations! You did it well! Our discussion is done. Let's do some recap. These are the different musical symbols of notes and rest with its specific values. Together with the dotted notes and dotted rest with its specific worth or value. Again, the use of dots changes the time value of a note or a rest. Notes and rest with a dot after their symbol increases the time value by half of its original beat. As you were singing the song Liron Liron Sinta earlier, how can you apply the song Liron Liron Sinta in your life as a student? Very well said! In the song Liron Liron Sinta, the one climbing the tree refers to a student putting effort into acquiring the fruits of knowledge but when he or she fails a test, they must try again until they can get it right. At this time, I want to know if you have learned our lesson today. I'm going to give a 5-item test. You get a paper and a ball pen for you to answer. Just be honest in answering. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What note receives two beats? Number 2. Which of the following rests receives four beats? Number 3. Which of the following has the dotted note? Number 4. Which note receives one half of a beat? And number 5. Which symbol receives two beats of silence? Congratulations! That's all for today. I hope you've learned a lot in our music lesson today. Thank you and see you next lesson. Bye for now!